Hey guys, um, this is uh, day two of working on stickers. We're going to be creating new stickers using no tan designs, which are using positive and um, negative space in the form of dark and light. And the Japanese term for the balance of dark and light is no tan. So we're going to be creating no tan designs. Here's a really great one that I found online. Everything is opposite um, black and white. You can see that there are black uh, outlines here are the eyes and then they're white here okay here's some other ones uh, that were done by students this one is painted uh, here's one that's um, opposite colors orange and blue our school colors and those are some beginning ones this is where your design is going to go and i'm going to show you how to do it here so we start with a black square then we're going to find some uh, interesting shapes that we like and you can do this any way that uh, any shape that you uh, see here. So I'll try this one. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to draw this out. Now, here's the thing is this is great. Got to change it to be white. Got to get rid of that outline. Make it transparent. Now I'm going to copy Command C and Command V to paste it. I'm going to change this now to be black because the other one is already white. And I need to flip that up and so that it's the exact opposite. So let's try doing that. I'm going to hold down the shift key. Oh, the shift did not work on any of it. Let's get that. Get it. Ah, see that blue line that shows up there on the right hand side that shows me that they're exactly equal in width. So this is, um, this, these two are exactly balanced on there, black and white. So let's try um, a different shape. And let's go with um, this triangle here. And I'm going to click, drag, change this to black. Make sure there's no outline. I'm going to copy that and paste it. And this one, I'm going to make it white. I have a black one and a white one. Now, this is going to be pretty easy because I can just spin it around like that. There we go. Now. The way that you can really make stuff look cool as you um, design is you can click on one, hold the shift key down, click on the other. That's going to get two items at once. The shift is like the plus. So let me try that again. Click on the black, hold down the shift key, and now I selected two. I'm going to command C for copy, command V for paste. Spin it around exactly opposite. I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to hold down the shift key to constrain my proportions. Select both of those and drag them over so that that middle line is perfectly lined up. So that looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to do that again. And this time I'm actually going to grab all four of those triangles. Let's see, it's not getting that. So let me select them this way. I'm going to hold down the shift key to unselect that box. Now I have both of those. Command C, Command V. I pasted that. Shrink that. I'm going to hold down the shift key. The shift key constrains the proportions. I'm going to shrink that. Don't forget, we got to spin that around. Click and drag. Get those lined up. And you can keep going and going and going for infinity. Okay, so I'm going to do this one so you can see how that works. Hold down the shift key to grab both of them. Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Now, I need to spin this around and hold down the shift key, shrink it, place it right on the line. Oh, those are opposites. Oh, actually, that's kind of nice. I'm going to keep going with that. Those aren't quite lined up, so there we go. That. Uh, there we go. That's better. And now we can keep going and going and going. You can also do this with letters. So I'm going to click, drag, and I'm going to start with the letter J. Let's make that way bigger than that. Okay, now I can design with this as well, and it doesn't even have to be straight. I can put that right up there. And now I'm going to need to make a white J and put it on the opposite side. Okay, 